everyone welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing fine so i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to talk about a fantasy book series which is the folk of air by holly black so this series has three books which the cruel prince second is the wicked king and fourth is the queen of nothing this is one of my favorite that's why i'm making this video yeah it is a popular book on social media but i had definitely heard about this book and i saw that this was available on prime reading so i was like Let's give it a try. So I'm going to give you review of all the books together, not like one by one, because like the st one story continues in all the three books. If I give you plot of second or third book, then it will be a spoiler. So and I don't want to give any spoilers. So before moving to reviews, I'm going to give you the plot of the book so you can know like what I'm talking about. Our main character is Jude, and the whole series is written from Jude's POV. So Jude was seven when her parents were murdered by her mother's ex-husband. He takes Jude and her. two sisters with him to the fairy land now after 10 years she wants to be belong there because most of the fairy people despise humans and they considered her weak and they also bully her because just for fun and especially the prince garden who is the youngest son of the high king he's also her nemesis and they both don't like each other jude has a twin sister who also goes to the same struggles jude spends most of her time learning swords and fighting because she wants to be powerful and capable of protecting herself and her sisters and now the high king of the elf him has decided to step down from the crown and he has to choose another high king then the whole story takes turn and a lot of politics get involved If she thinks that if she gets into the high court and if she gets some kind of position in the high court then people might not like her but they will have to respect her so she get herself involved in the court intrigues so let's get into the review of the book without any spoilers i love this book series this is a dark fantasy book which has lot to offer with not so likable characters the fairy world is very beautiful and it is described very amazingly there are people with wings and weird face shapes and colors some have tail and also the horns i also made this i wanted to get into the vibe of this book so i just made this horns on myself which are not so perfect but this is the only thing i can do for now jude hates that she wants to live in this fairy world she also don't want to live in the human world because she don't know much about the human world she grew up in fairy land because she was just 7 when she left the human world and came to fairy land so fairy feels like home to her she doesn't want to go back and she wants to stay in the fairy land. even though people in the fairy don't like her they can't do anything about it cause she was brought here by her mother's ex husband who is a fairy and now her father her twin sister taren she also goes through this same problems but she deals with them in a different way and her other eldest sister vivi she is a fairy like she is actual daughter of her mother's ex husband she is a fairy but she doesn't like the fairy world she wants to live in the human world so there is also a mess in that family too and high king has a lot of sons and daughters and he is stepping down from the crown so he has to choose one of them to become the ruler which results in a lot of blood shed and too much politics of royal high court gets involved even jude gets herself involved in this because of that she also discovers that she is capable of this trickery and blood shed it's amazing to read like how she navigates through all this politics and problems she is literally the strong female character and also a badass female character in the series the post that i saw of this book made me think that this is a romance fantasy book and i read the cruel prince and then i was like where is those things i didn't came across any of it it wasn't like a disappointment or it also didn't felt necessary to get those things involved in the story but it is portrayed in that way on social media so at least in the cruel prince but yeah the second and third book has just little bit more but not too much because this is a young adult fantasy book series so yeah but still the romance is not the main category for this book so don't get into reading this book just because of romance this book has court politics murder battle and a lot of things yeah there's angst between cardan and jude through whole books even though they hate each other like they think that they hate each other but they also have a bit of feelings towards each other but they don't like having those feelings for each other yeah, i do like their chemistry even though they don't like each other there are scenes like which feels like very intense scenes between them i was like is something is going to happen is something is going to happen but it didn't happen like, at least till the ending of the first book i guess or the second book like they both are not that 
too much likable characters too but compared to others they are very nice all the characters in the book are very unpredictable and you will never know what they are up to it is filled with betrayals tricks like everyone is playing politics and tricks on each other all the time it just keeps you on the edge there's just too much going on in the series like everyone is just doing something to achieve their goal and they are ready to go to any extent and it is written in such a way that it doesn't even give you time to think about like what this person can be up to because you will just get to know about it when that happened in the book i like that thing very much the characters are not very likable but it's just about like who is more likable than the other characters and if i have to rate this book i have given five star to all the three books like it's definitely one of my favorite fantasy book series some people don't like this book but i am the person who loved this book and holly black I loved her writing. It was hard for me to read in the starting because I'm not a fantasy reader. So yeah, it was kind of hard, but then I just got hold of it and the fairy world is very beautiful. I just want to go there. And to be honest, I liked all the three books equally. But if I have to choose one book, then I'll choose The Wicked King because there was a lot happening throughout the book from the start. And at the ending, I was like, what the hell? I was just not able to stop like I was like I don't want to think more I just wanted to start the third book ASAP and I just did that because it felt kind of betrayal like to me even even though I was not the character I read the cruel prince last month and I loved it and I started the wicked king few days back and I completed the wicked king and the queen of nothing in just 3 days like I completed both of this book in 3 days I was supposed to make another video today but I was like oh, I don't want to make any other video. Video I want to make about this book and talk about this book and I will highly recommend this book to people who want to get into the fantasy or want to read a fantasy book which has a very strong fairy world and I love to see a web series of this book or even the movie I don't care about the story but I just want to you know see these people and this location how this will look in real life from those creative minds of creative people on the screen if I speak more I will literally give you spoilers if you have read this book then do let me know your opinions in the comment section and so my book blog and instagram link is given in the description so do check them out i want to say about one thing it is a spoiler so if you don't want spoiler then you can just close this video review is over and if you have already read the book and you want to see this the spoiler then continue watching this sword card and did at the end of the second book the wicked king i was like he literally played and then i read whatever he said again and only crown can save her and bring her back then i was like she's also crown so i guess she can do that but then she went and i thought like maybe i am wrong and then in third book when cotton said that same thing i was like dude you are smart you are intelligent but you are also dumb ending was good i am not complaining like i can't even think of any other kind of ending for this book so, because madoc wanted to rule the fairy world and she just remove him from the fairy to the human world i'm just not satisfied with his punishment i wanted something more because i just started hating him because i was wanted to just kill him myself and people nowadays don't like to watch long videos so i'm going to stop now so yeah see you in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy read as many as book you can and want and bye bye